Tonight on HIP on the Spot News. The Syrian map will get expanded with new land and air bases in DCS world. The Cypress Island, a place rich in history, will expand our theater of air, land and naval operations. The RAF bases, US and Russian power, the Republic of Cyprus, Turkey and the United Nations. This and more on How I Play. Hello Virtual Pilots, I am Andre Celesti and today we will focus our attention on the Syria map by Ugra Media and the next expansion that will include the island of Cyprus alongside other air bases that are missing in the region. Armed with information that we know about the map and taking in calculation the already available airfields, we mark the content that we will get using Google Earth and carefully checking placement for all the airfields based on the screenshot provided by ED for this expansion. So let's discuss that. On the 27th of November last year, Eagle Dynamics shared with us some information about this expansion. Taking the Syria map to a total of 51 airfields including the US Air Force base at Insir Lik that we already have. The base is within an urban area of 1.7 million people and the United States Air Force and the Turkish Air Force are the primary users of the airbase. The US Air Force complement is about 5,000 airmen, with several hundreds from the Royal Air Force and Turkish Air Force being present as of late 2002. The primary unit station is the 39th Air Base Wing of the United States Air Force. Insirlik Air Base has one 3,048 miles long runway located among 57 hardened aircraft shelters. Tactical nuclear weapons are stored at the base, up to 50 B-61 nuclear bombs. Then the Russian Air Force Base, located southeast from Latakia, named Kachmimim Air Base, a base that shares facility with Al-Assad International Airport in Syria. The legal status of the base is regulated by a treaty Russia and Syria signed on August 2015. At the end of 2017, Russia said it had decided to turn the airbase into a component of its permanent military contingent stationed in Syria. The base is reported to be capable of handling the Antonov-124 Raslan and Ilyushin 276M transport aircraft. Other deployed aircrafts include the Su-24s, Su-25s and Su-34s and in 2016, Su-35 fighter jets have been deployed alongside reconnaissance aircrafts as well as T-90 tanks, BTR-82 vehicles and artillery and a recognizable gunship and support Russian helicopters, yeah, including the Hind. After the 24th of November 2015 shutdown of an Su-24M, I left a link in the video description about this incident, an S-400 defensive missile system was installed, allowing Russia to defend the airspace from southern Turkey to northern Israel. And in the end, they mentioned the RAF bases on the island of Cyprus. Since the latest 2.7 open beta update for DCS World, we have access to around 40 air bases on the Syria map. We made a previous video covering the newly added content with 2.7, so you can check it out later. Now with 40 available air bases as of today, we are missing only 11 to mark the 51 airfields to complete the Syrian map. Well, the first one that we notice is the Zor Airport located in the far east of the Syrian map. It's a place that has seen some action in modern times with the annexation threat by the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant in 2014. The city was then effectively under siege by ISIS, leaving supplies to be solely delivered by transport helicopter. ISIS attempted to stop the supplies by daily attacking the airbase. Next airport to be added is Gazi Pasha, located in Antalya, Turkey. The airport opened for domestic flights in July 2010, with daily flights from Istanbul with Bora Jet. Hmm, I have a good friend called Bora and he is from Antalya. Very interesting. Ok, ok, international flights began in 2011 holiday season with flights from Amsterdam. And now we can focus our attention to Cyprus. It is the third largest island in the Mediterranean, dominated by two mountain ranges, the Trodos and the Kyrenia mountains. The island is divided into four segments. The Republic of Cyprus, that occupies the southern 60% of the island, is the only internationally recognized government and has been a member state of the European Union since the 1st of May 2004. Then the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, is diplomatically recognized only by Turkey and occupies the northern one-third of the island, around 36% of the territory. 
The United Nations Control Green Line is a buffer zone that separates the two and it is about 4%. Lastly, two areas, Akrotiri and Dekelia, they remain under British sovereignty for military purpose, collectively forming the sovereign base area of Akrotiri and Dekelia, known as SBA. The two areas are located on the southern coast of the island and together encompass 254 km square. And we start up with RAF Akrotiri, that was first constructed in the mid-1950s, had a strong history during the Suez Crisis operating as an airfield for fighters, photo-reconnaissance and ground-attack aircrafts, and in recent times with the 2006 Lebanon War and many operations along the way including the first F-35 Lightning II sortie deployed to take part against the Islamic State. Next airfield, part of the SBA, is Kingsfield, located in the eastern area, was built by the Army Air Corps around 1960. It has a long history tied to the Hercules C-130, making headlines in the aviation industry in the late 1980s with a location where the RAF tested and used the desert pink paint making the Hercules pretty much invisible from the air. Moving on with Larnaca International Airport, which is Cyprus' main international gateway and the large of the two commercial airports in the area controlled by the Republic of Cyprus. I used to do many flights from Antalya to Larnaca in X-Plane 11 and Microsoft Flight Simulator. The other international gateway and also a joint civil military public airport is Papos International located 4 miles southeast of the city with the same name. It's commonly used by tourists on vacation in western Cyprus. The airport is also an asset for the National Guard and the Air Forces, serving as a military air force base under the name of Andreas Papandreou. Now let's focus our attention to the north side of the island. From right to left we start with Cecitkale Air Base, a military airfield of the Turkish Air Force. In the summer of 1998, amid rising tension between Greece and Turkey, Turkey stationed 6 F-16s at Cecitkale in response to the former's positioning of 4 F-16s and 2 C-130 Hercules at Papos. It's also a base for UAV's operations. Next up is Erkan International Airport and the primary civilian airport of Northern Cyprus. Flights to the airport are banned internationally. Non-stop flights only take place from Turkey and all planes that fly to Northern Cyprus from other countries have to stop over in Turkey. Moving on with Lakatamia Base, it mainly served as a helicopter airfield but was still capable of receiving small fixed-wing aircrafts until spring of 2013. After that, the remaining runway was almost completely dug up and removed. Only about a quarter remained by October that year. A good place to fly helicopters missions in the Gazelle. Nicosia International Airport is a largely disused airport located 5 miles west of the Cypriot capital city of Nicosia in the Lakatamia suburb. It was originally the main airport for the island, but commercial activity ceased following the Turkish invasion of Cyprus in 1974. The last airport for the Cyprus island is Spinarbasi, located on the northern side coast. We didn't find much information on this airport or airbase, so if you know anything about it, please leave us a comment down below, in order to provide next time better info background on this particular airbase, when the map is getting expanded of course. So this entire region will give us more space and rich historical background to do air and naval operations on the Syria map. This expansion will come for free. And if you want to see a work in progress video with the current state of Cyprus, it seems that Flight School YouTube channel got their hands on the map. And they did a simple first look, and you can check it out. I linked it in the video description for your comfort. We are still waiting for a release date for this expansion. We think that it will come most likely in one of the next open beta updates, before or after the Free Mariana Island map. Looking forward to check it out. And that's it, thank you all for watching, if you find our video informative, please leave us a like as it helps the YouTube algorithm, and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest information and news from your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe, and I'll see you next time!